Jeff, sir. Yes. New appointed manager oh, yes. of HRO Anaheim. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Hot off the press. You are W5ABQ. And you are N3JF. All right, excellent. What are How we doing, doing today? Well, um, we are we're kind of dispatching and deploying the uh, an expert, <laughs> as in rig expert. Ooh, yes. Yeah, we've uh, been wanting to do this for quite some time. Yes. And um, I mean, as we all know, in most shacks, uh, a couple of the most important tools and resources would be a multimeter, yes, SWR, watt meter, and then also I would have to say analyzer. It, I, I didn't have an analyzer in my shack for the first 35 years, believe mm -hmm. it or not. I always used my cousins and <laughs> my Elmer. Nice. So today we're going to take time, give a brief overview of the rig expert models, and uh, we'll give a little bit of background on Rig Expert, the company itself, because when I, th I think of this company, I think of precision, quality, and reliability, for sure. Which are the three things you need in ham uh, radio? Yeah, especially with uh, any type of device that does test measurements, gauging, and so forth. So uh, I do believe every shack needs an analyzer. Uh, if not, I do know, for example, some clubs actually have an analyzer, and then they let others use those as uh, a tool or resource. That's a great for, idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. And you great know, for field day. I was going to say, Something definitely need for field away, day. Yep. It's field day. So yep. get, get one now and learn yep. how to Winter use field it. Day, that's right. Yeah, that's awesome. Absolutely right. But uh, as far as rig expert, uh, each of these devices goes through four stages in the quality control process. That would include. Uh, post-production from the electronic side, the assembly, after assembly, before shipping to the warehouse, and then again before shipping to the dealer, oh, wow. uh, to HRO. Yeah. So you know when you receive a, a rig expert straight out of the box, it's ready to go. And uh, these devices have been calibrated from the factory. Uh, you don't need to do calibration, although you can if you want extra, extra precision. They do have an, what they call an OSL kit, the open, short, and uh, what's the other one? Length. Open, short, and no. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm forgetting it here. Okay, we'll get back to this. Length. That's what I said. Is it length? Is that right? I, I think I said length. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think of it here in a moment. I, I'm not sure. That I... if, it, if it's a question, we'll, we'll correct it. All right, no problem. <laughs> so um, they back up their products as well. When we talk about quality, precision, and reliability, these units come with a two-year warranty. And if there's any issues, if they do need to be um, turned in under warranty, they, they swap them out. So they really back up their product. Oh, very cool. Customer supports 24-7, um, and um, they'll take care of the problem so it doesn't waste your time. And so we have a good relationship with Rig Expert. And a couple other things about each of these devices would be um, they are very accurate. I've already mentioned about precision. And um, you can check and adjust antennas. Now, these are not just antenna analyzers. They go a step further. These are cable analyzers as well. So it's really worth noting that. Um, the uh, One of the great features is the TDR, the Time Domain Reflectometer, that will allow you to test anything, problems with your cable, it could be a short, could be open, after a weather event, climate issue, and something changes. So that's a great feature from these devices. Um, the Zoom model can be hooked up, so they're called Zoom, so you can expand the display onto phone or to your computer because they operate off of Bluetooth. And um, they have about 16 hours of runtime, typically, on average. And these can operate from negative four Fahrenheit up to about 130 degrees oh, in seconds. So if you're doing POTA in Death Valley, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, it usually can operate. So of course, I, I don't, wouldn't recommend taking it in that kind of environment. But uh, these devices are very intuitive in regard to the usage and, and, and easy to navigate through the menus. Uh, and they're ready to work straight out of the box. So, um, and they're ready for any type of field adventure. These are designed 
so you don't have to use your radio to tr try to figure out what's wrong with your cable, right. your antenna. You can take this device with you anywhere, uh, and especially we'll look at the stick uh, models as well. Very, very portable, okay? So I want to mention uh, in the Zoom series, we have um, each one of these will do a rapid checkout of an antenna, uh, tuning the antenna to resonance, of course, like all analyzers. And they can do a lot of comparing of characteristics and data that is collected, okay? And again, being able to test the cable and, and fault location if there's a short, if there's an open. Um, and then also they'll measure capacitance and then inductance of reactive loads as well. That's the OSL load. Uh, there you go. All right. So open short load. Thanks, Bill. You were you were wrong again. Okay, we just carry on. <laughs> so that's that's rare. That's very that rare. That is very rare. Very rare. Okay. But you're forgiven, Rob. Actually, Bill. Actually, he knew that. We just uh, he's just yeah. throwing us a curveball. Yeah, he was. So the um, in the Zoom uh, series, we have the AA35. And that's going to be for operators who have mostly a need for HF only. Okay. So 0 to 35 megahertz, basically. Of course, these have color display, continuous coverage, and frequency range. Then there's the AA55, which I don't have a model today, um, which is going to cover basically from about 60 kilohertz up to 55 megahertz, going just above HF to low VHF, so you can cover 6 meters. Perfect. Then you have the AA230. That's this little dude this right, here. right here. Right? Yeah. And that's going to cover HF and VHF up to 230 megahertz, which will cover 2 meters, 144 to 148 megahertz, no problem whatsoever. And this one has a SO239 connector. This one has an N connector. That's correct. And it does come with what we call an N31 type adapter. So you can adapt to a regular PL259 if needs. So that comes as part of the kit. Um, the 230, is that the 230? Yeah, that's the 230. Is it, yeah, N-type. Uh, it does use four AAA or rechargeable type as well. And uh, let's see here. And the, by the way, the keypads are waterproof on, on, on the front right, panel. They're, they're a membrane. Yeah, it's a membrane, yeah. like a, some type of uh, material over it to protect it. Uh, and they come with USB cables so you can connect to your computer and transfer that information. That is one great feature about the rig experts. Then we have the, um, well, let's, let's do the AA30, or AA35. We'll just do a quick test. Okay, because we have an we antenna. We have an antenna here behind us, a very well known shark 10 meter mini ham stick. And we're just going to uh, do a quick SWR check and here we go so right now uh, it was showing as a 2.4 uh, 2 to 1 at 27,950 now that's of course done not between 10 meters and 11 meters so uh, we would need to make some adjustments and you can always sweep it again find out where your center frequency is and sometimes I can just adjust this and get a different reading yeah different reading now that's a bad SWR getting up to three yeah so very accurate and this will allow you to know whether or not you need to lengthen the stinger or lower it so you find your center frequency so if it's more resonant higher than your operating frequency you need to shorten it. If it's more resonant below your resonant frequency, yep. you need to lengthen it. You can just keep doing that until it reads resonant at your frequency. That's right. With that little set screw on your ham stick, which is good for mobile operations, POTA, soda, and so forth. Okay, the AA650, in my opinion, is uh, probably would be my, my choice overall because it's going to cover HF, VHF, and UHF. And we have a box right here, Julian. Okay. You might want to open that up and show us what comes with it. All right. Uh, it's got an end type connection. It's going to cover, by the way, it can measure multiple types of ohms, including 25, 50, 75, 100 ohms, 150, 200, 300, and 450, and 600 ohms. This is a great analyzer for those who like to build their own antennas. 
as well. And so we have a charger. So we have a, a drop charger. charger. Yep. We have a USB cable. Yep. Oops. USB we have a cable. We have a uh, three prong adapter. Yep. Let me just grab For that real overseas quick. Overseas travel. So that's your international adapter. Uh, looks like we have a lanyard and the uh, lanyard. UHF. Yep. Yep. Adapter there. There you Comes go. Comes with batteries also. Batteries. It's like Christmas. Yeah. And uh, oh, it's keeps a on nice, giving. A nice pouch here. Yeah. And of course, this box doesn't contain this because it's already on display. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one out of the box. Yeah. That's that's pretty comprehensive for everything uh, everything you're gonna need. Yep. That's the AA650. Now this model also will um, similar would be the AA1500 which will go, instead of 650 megahertz, will go to 1.5 gig, 1500 wow. megahertz. There's also the AA2000, which will be uh, zero to two gigahertz. And then also the AA3000. Of course, those of you involved in microwave um, uh, communications, uh, those would fit your needs. That goes from zero to three gigahertz. Wow. That's the AA3000. I'm just gonna okay. put that up here. I can All right. close it. There we go. No problem. Then um, that's the Zoom series, which will allow you to connect through Bluetooth as well, or through the USB A to C cable through your computer. So you can increase the graphic size and so forth. That's why it's called Zoom. Now moving over to the really portable analyzers would be our stick series and uh, I don't have a 230 model today, but that's the basic entry level. It goes from 0 to 230 megahertz stick. These are ultra, ultra portable, and uh, they come with lanyards as well, so you, these can actually hang around your neck. Right. Do you carry one of those? I do. At, uh, when I you're do. at ham convention? Uh, just just right. when I'm walking around on the street. Oh, you do? I want everybody to know that I, <laughs> that I have a stick 500. Gotcha. All righty. That's the the 230, and then we have the Stick 500, which is in this box. It's got another nice color to it. Is, it. is this the yellow one? That's the yellow one. Because that's what I got. There you go. There we go. And that's going to go up to 500 megahertz covering HF, VHF, 2 meters, and uh, 70 centimeters, all the way up to 500 megahertz. These have about 16 hours of runtime. Yeah, this has a uh, e-paper or e-ink display. So it's on and it's always on. The only time it changes is when you're actually doing something with it. Yeah. So very long, whereas That's these ones cool have display. a, uh, what is it, TFT display? Or TFT, yeah. yeah. Yep. So TFT. Uh, these, are, these are really bright, but these you can see in any kind of uh, lighting conditions. They're very okay. good. Okay, uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, trivia. trivia. TFT. Okay. TFT. Sounds to lose the transistor well, or something. There you go. Wow. Yeah, Thin see? film transistor. See? Display. Nice. Yeah. Well done. Go on, ask me another one. <laughs> <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, we have our Stick Pro. Yes. Which we do have here. Okay. Our Stick Pro. There we go. And it's going to go up to 600 megahertz, one of the most popular models as far as the Stick series goes. Um, the great feature of these analyzers, one of them is the Time Domain Reflectometer, the TDR. Hmm. We're going to do a quick, just a quick, um, yeah, it's hard. That's yeah. good. You can just. Uh, so we have, we have a cable here that's yep. going to something that we've built in, i.e. a short. Yeah. And so we've got a co it's, we've got a problem with our coax, basically, and we need to find out what's going on. Oops. Hit the square one. Yeah. There we go. All right, we're one on. Time. One more time. Back here, TDR. All right. Now it's sending the signal. It's going to collect the data and let us know, hopefully, what's the distance of our problem. It's still still working through all it. All working. This is where uh, Vanna White would be turning things. Turning or, turning letters. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So it says distance 1.936 meters. That's about spot on because it's yeah. about six feet of coax. There you go. So we know by this measurement on the display, give us an idea where we have an actual short, which we have simulated here, and it's very spot on actually. Mm. So that's a good deal. And that could be a, a short or an open as well. Okay. All right. That's the Stick Pro. 
Uh, all these have a splash and dust proof case, very compact, lightweight, and easy to use out in the field. All right, and the final one is the Stick X Pro, it's Big Brother. We don't have here today. Oh, do we? Have? No, no, we don't. And uh, that's going to go up to one gigahertz. Same type of model. Mm. They come with lanyards, they come with the USB cable, and um, yeah, and Bluetooth as well. So that's it for the Stick Pro. So Bluetooth is important because you can leave your analyzer and go up a ladder and still look at the results of your test. Yes. You can, you can trigger a test from your phone and, like you say, be up a ladder and make an adjustment, run another test, and you've you got all the information you need. There you go. There you go. Any other questions, just give us a call at one of our 12 stores, a ham radio outlet, and we'll be glad to help you and uh, find the right model, right device. Excellent. Yeah, and you need one. If you don't have one, you need one. Yes. That's all I can say. Absolutely. All well, right. Jeff, thank you so much. All right, Julie. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Awesome. All right. Take care, guys. 73. 73. 73.